Hello, hello, hello there. How are you all doing today? Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. Today is October the 30th, 2024. The year is almost over. Can't believe it's gone so quickly. Huh. And you know what October is? October the 7th, 2023. You know what that date, what date was, what, what caused that for us to be remembering this, that, that date? It's because that's the day when Amos attacked Israel. To this day, Israel can't get over it. Not so much the Israeli people, but the Prime Minister. And it's hurt. It hurt. <laughs> My God, it freaking hurt. It freaking hurt. And I asked you before, do you think Mr. Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, is the right man for peace? <laughs> no one answered me. You know why? Because he freaking ain't the right man for peace. Mr. Netanyahu don't want peace. He want revenge and he don't know when to stop. Even when they get enough revenge, you still don't know when to stop. And it hurts. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it hurts. You can't blame the Palestinian people for protesting at the um, soon to be Prime Minister. I'm not Prime Minister, President of the United States, Kamala Harris. You can't blame her. Israeli, um, Palestinian pro protesters. You don't want to blame her. She can't do nothing. All the Prime Minister, I think all the President of the United States, they've tried to, 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 to find peace in the, East, in, 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 in the Middle East, especially against uh, um, Israel and all Israeli, the enemies of Israel. None, none succeed. You named, you named it none. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, people? It hurts. I feel your pain, Palestinian people, the Gaza people. I feel your pain, believe me, and I'm just one person. But Mr. Netanyahu won't stop. He won't stop. His bombing is in Beirut. <laughs> He's bombing in the, in the Iran. He's good bombing in the Gaza Strip. He, he don't know when to stop. Mr. Netanyahu is don't want peace. It's crazy. Totally crazy. Twenty hours ago, he killed. He had strike in the Gaza Strip, killed 60, as reported, but it's much more than that. I know it, you know it. Out of the 60, that's 20 babies, young children. That's all this freaking war I've been doing ever since October 7, 2020. He's killing the babies. Mr. Nair, no, no, we don't want this. And it freaking hurts, man. He will ignore, he ignored the American president. <laughs> he ignored, he ignored everyone. He's, he won't let the uh, humanitarian aid go, come through. He closed that off. Close that off. No aids, no humanitarian aid. Babies are still dying, dying from starvation. They're living in squatters areas, squatters camp, or whatever, wherever they are. The idea of people bring the airstrike over, still killing the Palestinian people. What are we gonna do? What are we freaking gonna do with Mr. Netanyahu, man? 
It hurts. I keep repeating that like a broken record, but it freaking hurts. Who will stand up? Who, who, will, who will say, man, you haven't, is enough? You don't want to hear me saying that Benjamin Netanyahu don't want to hear. He don't want to know. He don't want to know. How many people die now? How many Palestinian babies and the wounded for life? How many? 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, whatever the figure is. He don't care about that. October the 30th. 20 hours ago, the airstrike, the Israeli airstrike came. Where the people are hiding, uh, you know, thinking that they're in a, some kind of a displaced area. Huh. Forget that. He just went and sent his airstrike over and killed more and more and more. And it's, uh, it's so sad. It's so sad to know that one man and his uh, hardliners just keep on bombing. Just keep on bombing. I told you before, there's nowhere anyone can hide. He said it. The Israeli people, the Israeli government said it. Wherever they want to hide, the, the, the intelligent, intelligent, intelligent people will find you. He go and is assassinate them. He don't believe in bringing them to justice. You know, he don't believe in uh, say, okay, you commit a crime, so we're gonna punish you for that. No, you kill them all. Kill them all, one by one, two by two, a dozen by a dozen. Don't matter. You kill them all. Freaking sad. You gotta, you gotta have a, you, you, you freaking people don't have a heart. You don't have no, you don't have no heart, man. You're all murderers. Freaking murderers. 21st century murderers. And disgusting. And disgusting. What, what, what next, what next? What next? Will you just stop the bombing, Mr. Netanyahu? Will you feed, let, let the humanitarian aid come, come through? Can you do that? Can you do that? No. He don't want to know that. He don't want to know what, he don't want to, he's not listening to any American president. So don't blame that. Uh, we have an election coming up in a couple of weeks. Don't bl blame the American president. Because he, he's stubborn. The Israeli prime minister is stubborn. So he just keep on killing. 20 babies died in one. 20 young children wounded for life. Crazy? It's beyond craziness. Totally crazy. No one feel your pain. I feel your pain because I'm just one person. But I know it's not right. And you know, I told you before, I don't care about what's happened between Israel. I care about what happened with, in, in, in um, between the, the uh, Ukraine and Russia. But I can't help from making these videos because it hurts so much. Every day, every freaking day, it's over one year, one freaking year that Mr. Netanyahu has been bombing the Gaza Strip. He's bombing Lebanon, in Beirut. He's bombing in Ireland. Bring the fight over there. Because it's been after Iron for how many years? Decades. Decades. And like I said, 
He didn't need to kill all these people. But he's still doing that. Still killing the babies, Palestinian babies. And nobody's saying anything. No one. They now they're waiting for Donald Trump to to become president so he can kill more. Hmm? What are we gonna do about this man, this prime minister? What are we gonna do? What 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 can we do? Nothing. Just break your heart. It break your heart for knowing knowing that this is <laughs> twenty first century. We have in the war like other Hitler war in days, killing babies. Innocent babies. Can't you be, don't you people have a heart? Don't you feed that? Can't you see what this man is doing? Hmm? So all you pro protesters, you don't have to blame uh, blame America. Well, you can blame America because uh, they are been uh, sent away for decades now. But it hurts. It hurts so badly that I feel it. I felt it. Everyone needs to feel feel it too. You know that what he's doing is not right. One here. It's October, October the thirtieth. What I must did was October seventh, twenty twenty two. 23 rather. So it's a full year and, and a few days, a few months, a few days rather, that they've been bombing, trying to get the read of Hamas. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Okay, okay this is not real. Do you think it's real? It's not real, people. It's not real. I can't believe it's real. That one man, one man and his IDF army, his airstrikes, his bombs, his drones flying overhead, young babies without any arms, without any legs, without any, they all tore it up, messed up. Hmm? Young fathers crying, screaming, <laughs> Palestinian men are screaming. Palestinian women, they're screaming, they're hollering, pleading to God for mercy. <laughs> so that now we say, yeah, have your mercy. Here's the throne strike. It happened for over a year, people. Over one freaking year. The man been dropping bombs on people. Trying to get his revenge for October the 7th. You don't know where to stop. Our Secretary of State, how many visits? He went there. Eight, five, six, ten. Talking peace. Trying to get peace going. Ceasefire. <laughs> Let Norris say, up your ass. They ain't getting no ceasefire. We ain't stopping. I told you before, when the, when that when 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 the Hamas made that stupid strike, is what Mr. Netanyahu been been, been been praying for all along. I told you before, that's what they've been praying for. I think they even deliberately lay back and sit down and let Hamas with their supply from from iron, rain rockets down, and the, the concert. He been praying for that. Because he said first thing out of his mouth was this is war. You know why he said this is war? Because now we can get the full backing, full backing of the United States. The United States was real ironclad, they call it, to support Israel, yeah, it's 
fam famous word is Israel have a right to defend herself. <laughs> so I've been praying for that. Why? Because before all he got, they were doing was tit for tat. You eat me, I eat you back. That's all they were doing before. Terrorists strike there, we strike them back. But now with a war, designated a war, he got his opportunity to strike a tyrant. Yeah, but he didn't do that first. He started off in the Gaza Strip, killing and just killing and just killing and just killing innocent people. That's why they've been doing people. Babies. And no one is doing anything. What? What about the hostages? <laughs> That's a dirty word, right? Hostages. <laughs> How many is left there still? How many? 101, 108. They don't care about them. No word, nothing mentioned about the poor hostages, those people who, who've been stuck with the hammers hiding them someplace. <laughs> Look at them now. What about the hostages, man? They don't want to know about the hostages. Hostages, in the, no, he's hoping that, yeah, he can uh, bomb here and bomb there and bomb the tunnels and bomb wherever they are and bomb the buildings. Yeah, he's hoping that his mom won't kill the hostages, but he will find the people who is holding the hostages. Hamas people, they call them terrorists. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, everyone who, who criticizes Israel is a terrorist anyway. Everyone. In America, you can't say nothing, you can't criticize them. Because iron cloud, iron cloud. Israel have a right to defend themselves, but no one else have the right to defend themselves. No individual, no groups, nothing, no one. Mm. It hurts. Twenty freaking babies, man, a little late, twenty hours ago. Twenty kids, twenty children. In a displaced camp in the hospital. Hmm? My God. Where will it end, Mr. Benjamin? Adam? Where will it freaking end? We're gonna come Christmas. We are on the way to Christmas. Children won't have no way to go. Palestinian baby won't have no celebration to do. Their blood is on the floor, hanging out, we walking and, you know, open blood and everything. Baby's arms broken, legs broken, shattered head, shattered brain. They can't even perform operation because they're terrorists. You, if, if, you, if you mend a broken baby arms or something, you're terrorists. Yeah, October, people. October the 30th, 2024. It's go it still goes on. Not a freaking war. They call it a war. A one-sided war. It hurts. So you for your uh, for Palestinian protesters? Yeah, we feel your pain. But don't blame... Uh, don't blame the lady who's trying to become president of the United States because she ain't gonna do jack shit. Excuse my language. She can't. She she want to, but she can't. But she's hurting too. She's feeling the pain. She knows the amount of killing that's going on. The Israel idea for doing is totally wrong. It's totally unbelievable. But what can she do? Reagan didn't bring peace. Jimmy Carter didn't bring peace. Donald Trump didn't bring peace. 
Barack Obama didn't bring peace. George Bush didn't bring peace. Both Bushes. No one bring peace. Because the Israeli people think they're so special. What's so special about that? Damn it, look, I'm black. I'm just special. But you all complaining about your extreme this and your extreme that and the name calling and this and that and whatever. You ain't no special than anybody else. But if you bring peace today, the Israeli people, the Jewish people, will all be living a happy life. Their children will be going to school happily. Yeah? But you can't live like this. You don't want a two-state solution. It's not, it's not on. This is not the end of it. Because they won't come to the negotiating people, table. And as soon as they kill one uh, terrorist leader or whatever you call it, another one come up. Because they can't forget this, man. No. So how can you have peace? But you have the intelligence to find where bad people are. Why don't you bring them to justice? That's what you need to do. We don't need to send drones, drones to kill, smashing their building to in debris, pieces. Look at the place. Look at it, people. Don't be a tourist. Be a tourist. Go and tour the place. See what happened. Look, horrible. However, buildings after buildings after buildings after buildings. Oh my God Almighty. Who knows how many buried down underneath the cement blocks. Everything come falling on top of the head. Can't recover it. Can't rescue it. No. And what we're going to do? We're doing nothing. We're sending them, we're sending Mr. Net and all the top of the line equipment to fight uh, just in case Iran decide to send more rockets over there. Iran's no match. Because Mr. Net and always say, yeah, bring it on, baby. Bring it on. I hit kick your ass as well. Too. Guys are strict, man. A place with only, what, two million or plus people? How many now? So I'm just telling you people, people today's October the 30th. October the 30th. And still the air strike continues. The bombing continues. It's news, headline news, every day, every day. Oh, Israel is strike here, Israel is strike there. You strike there. This amount of people die, that amount of people die. Get killed by air strike. IDF soldiers kill them all too. Hmm? Where will it freaking end? Can't we have peace, Mr. Nettenauer? Can't we? I wish God would just open up the sky and swallow you all up. I don't mean to be rude or, you know, I'm not on the side of terrorists. I'm not a terrorist or anything like that. But you all know, you all got feelings. You should have. But this ain't right, people. This ain't right, just like what Russia is doing over there in the Ukraine. It ain't right. It ain't right. Talking about Ukraine. I told you the other day, that crazy other one there in North Korea, <laughs> all those lobby-dobby meetings that Mr. Volodymyr Putin had, meeting with the Chinese head of big boss, meeting with the freaking crazy one in Young, in North Korea. He's sending freaking troops now to fight the Russian war with Ukraine. Le poor little Ukraine. 
meat killing them. So we got the Ukraine going with the Russian thing. We got Mr. Nedno with the Gaza Strip thing. Yeah. That's going on. We got Beirut, the Libyan. We got that going on. How many wars can you fight at one time, Mr. Netanyahu? Spending my dollars sending you all those freaking top of the line equipment, military equipment, to go and kill innocent baby. How long will you carry on with this madness? Hmm? How long? One year, two year, three, how long? That's why you want a war. You don't want no tit for that thing, you want a war. So you can send uh, your, all those top of line equipment we send you to go and kill babies. Nothing ridiculous, man. We need to stop it. We need to do something, people. We need to stop it. But I'm saying you pro Palestinian protesters, don't blame my black woman who is trying to become president of the United States because it's, it's decade now, decade after decade, where, you know, we, it's really got their ironclad supporters there mainly the Republicans, or the sad. So today is the 30th, people, 30th of October, October the 30th, 2024. We know, we, we, we know closer to the end. We know closer to a ceasefire. We know closer, closer to humanitarian aid in the Gaza Strip. We know closer to um, uh, building, rebuilding back the place, getting babies, I've seen them baby wounded, wounded, getting them to see a doctor. We know closer. So that's what I'm saying, people. It's just freaking hurt, plain and simple. It's hurt. Mr. Ned now need to stop his freaking war. He need to stop Palestine, killing Palestinian babies. He need to bring peace. Bring peace for the Israeli children who will, you know, they want peace. You know, they, they will need peace, you know. So that's all I'm saying. I'm begging Mr. Netanyahu, stop the war, stop the killing of the Palestinian babies. You know, stop this nonsense, man. It's craziness. You need to wake up. So, love you all. Take care. May God have mercy on you all. Peace.